Welcome back to New Year's Eve Live. We're coming to you from Discovery Green in downtown Houston. And it is a beautiful night for New Year's Eve. We're just about half an hour away from welcoming in the New Year here in Houston. Many of you may not have heard of rapper Baby J, Baby J, I should say, but you will soon because he is an up-and-comer, and Katisha Cosley is out there right now to introduce us. Kat? Hey, guys. I did have a wonderful time with Baby J. Well, I know one resolution that Baby J has, and that is just to be continuing in his success. Despite his success, he always takes time out for Houston area school children. All of his songs are positive about hope and encouragement. Not exactly what you might expect from a rapper who grew up in a tough neighborhood. I was younger, I was surrounded by a lot of negativity, and uh, at that time I was like, man, you know what, I want to make a difference. My brothers were in and out of boot camps, jail, and I mean, I know there's a lot of kids out there who either have it the same way I do or worse, and I wanted to show them that you don't have to be like everybody else, you know, you could be different, it's okay to be different. So I told myself that I didn't want to be like my brothers, and uh, I wanted to make my parents proud. I was the first one to graduate from my family, first one to go to college, and I mean, I, I you know, I put a smile on their face. I got the name when I was younger, everybody was J-A-Y, and I was just, you know, Jonathan. Everybody says I got a baby face, I don't agree. So I got that, the baby from being you know, like a baby face. But whenever me and my manager first started, I mean, I can tell you, we were t told, you know what, what you're doing is not good, you're not gonna succeed in that, and so we started pushing since I was 13, and uh, you know, I got signed to him, and we've been making a difference in the world since then. The pressure building up, the people start to crowd around. My manager, he, he's the main reason behind this, because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. Him. Just because, I mean, even if I get all the money in the world, it, it doesn't matter about that. It's all about what he sees in the vision. I just want to uplift people. I want to encourage them. I have songs about respect. I have songs about don't laugh at me, which is anti-bullying. Don't call me names. Don't get your pleasure for my pain. They got ties. We all the same. Some people love how perfect queens. Don't laugh at me. My music is different. What does it make you feel when you see all the hard work. It makes me very happy. It's an accomplishment that, that me and my manager have been waiting for. And every song that I write, I put my heart into. It's stuff that I, that I want to share because it's stuff that I've been through or my friends have been through. You're working on um, a new CD. What's your favorite song? My favorite song on there is a Spanish song, and it's called Como Sea. This is my first time rapping in Spanish. The only reason why I like it is just because I think I produced it, and I'm <laughs> not joking. <laughs> no, but, um, I mean, whenever I first started performing in places, I just seen the the, uh, the impact that I had on kids, but also the impact that I had on adults. And with this album, what we wanted to do, like on my first album, we had my song Don't Laugh At Me, and that was a song that I performed in schools throughout the country. And we're like, you know what? We should have another song respect. This song right here is still allowed for kids, but you can also hear it in high schools. It's appropriate for colleges. And I was like, man, you know what? I can still make a difference in the club. Life. For the right and is to excel. And some staying strong and PR persevere. And for excellence. See, I'm in control. So where we're at now, we're here and we're here performing New Year's Eve live and I mean, for me it's something very exciting because I've, I've done shows with a lot of people there but I mean, New Year's Eve live is in Houston and I'm, I'm happy to do something big in Houston. It's an honor for me to perform there. What an amazing young man and he does this all for the children. As you heard in the piece, he just released a CD and he's joining us here live. Let's go over to the stage and hear Baby J.